so yeah you heard it right the desktop mode is coming to the android smartphones and this is something that is not new to the market and specifically we have seen a similar thing that is happening to the samsung smartphones from quite some time now by using the samsung tech services or maybe uh, the one from motorola that is also a very good one but today in this video i am really excited because this android mode is something that might be really special and there is just one single thought that what i really wanted to share in this video and that is the wide availability of a proper desktop system to a lot of students and the businessmen who are traveling around the world and how this one specific update that is coming to the Android 16 if this thing really happens and if this thing it really takes off this is going to be a very big moment for the Android smartphones because hey you know if you are able to get a fully fledged desktop system on any Android smartphone uh, the requirement of getting a laptop like a Chromebook would not just be there that is not the best of the a world and this will be one handy solution that almost everyone could just get in their lifetime now when i was a student i was looking for a similar setup as well because i could not afford a very expensive laptop in my engineering time and here you know i have done my bachelor's in electronics and telecommunication if you just wanted to know in this video but in my a college time i was really struggling to get a very good laptop so that i could learn uh, to code in my uh, schooling days or maybe just how to use the uh, electronic stuff or just do the electronic programming that is the ch thing again i have never pursued any kind of job in electronics and telecommunication i work in a real it job so i have just forgot everything about that part but hey you know every student in india and around the world they might need something that is very handy and if Android is able to just crack this formula and make this thing not just an extension of a multi window mode just like what Samsung is able to do with a text mode I think so that this thing is going to be a very good one now normally what is happening again with the Samsung text platform and also the Motorola one is that they are using the multi window platform that is again a component of the Android platform and what they do is that they just extend the services and make it a fully functional UI and that is a part that is built by Samsung and not uh, Google itself but Google is now working on a fully fledged UI and I do not think so that it would be a very difficult thing for Google to do the very same thing since we already have a lot of foldable and the flip devices in the market and there is already a specific set of instruction for these kind of devices that is lingering around in the uh, Android SDK format and a lot of people are already developing the same thing so again just getting out a new SDK that is very much specific to uh, this multi window mode extension and not even that I would say I would say it is a fully fledged desktop mode that will be able to do everything that at least a Chromebook is able to do if not the latest and the greatest in the terms of the Windows and the Mac OS and that may also give a big run or I would say a big hit to how the Windows devices are there in the market because hey you know if you want to buy a Windows laptop or a Mac laptop you just need to carry two separate devices but having a single Android smartphone that has got all the functionalities of a fully fledged desktop mode where you can uh, create PPTs, you can do some kind of coding, you can run the kernels, you can just also uh, make a fully fledged server online as well if that thing allows to do. So I just really think so that it is a very powerful tool that if Android is able to just implement this thing in a perfect manner it could just make a big difference in the way that how uh, the Windows system is working around the corner also it is a Linux based thing so it might be a bit more uh, secure than having this thing on the Windows laptop so yes I think so it is just a win-win situation for the Android thing but now do not get excited about this thing because when this thing will finally be launched it would be available for all the android devices the pixel ones and then it will be a uh, carried forward to the other developers and the other uh, smartphone manufacturing companies with an sdk where people could develop this thing in their own way or maybe modify it or maybe google just allows a very specific set of instructions to just uh, copy and paste that whatever is there in their original code and use it as it is and that is just again one thing that might be amazing so it might take about a year or two before you actually start to see other devices that go and support these kind of things and again i think so if you already have a very expensive smartphone like i have got this samsung galaxy s25 ultra at my home again this thing has already got the text so i'm just excited to see that what kind of improvements i would be able to get on this one but if you just have got another 
a smartphone manufacturer maybe xiaomi or oneplus or something else i think so uh, that the latest and the greatest ones in the market might be able to support this thing in a future update which is also one of the best things now again just think about it it is also a very big thing in the uh, terms of the college environment as well because now you just do not have to uh, buy those cheap computers for your uh, computer labs because I have not seen one of the best ones in the recent times and all you see is the fifth generation or the sixth generation uh, of the processors in those laptops or the computers that are provided in the uh, schools and the colleges and just you know you just need a screen uh, coming forward in a few years that is there in the lab and you can just connect your phone uh, with that screen and you would just be able to uh, run any kind of application on those platforms as well which again one thing that is very powerful now this all comes up to that how google is uh, leaning on this thing and if they are just planning to make it more uh, powerful than what the chrome os already is or maybe uh, it is just an iteration of what the android already is and again opening some kind of kernel resources to be able to make the android devices a bit more fun on the desktop mode so yes I think so still you would be able to do the basic programming you would be able to uh, install some basic applications on the android smartphones in the future and just be able to use the best of what the android is able to offer and that is the android desktop mode now a few of the cool features that i see listed on 9 are the enhanced multitasking capabilities with resizable windows traditional desktop like navigation elements the app management system similar to the desktop os like the windows or the chrome os a seamless transition between the mobile and the desktop interface and also just like the desk platform on the samsung smartphone you would be able to uh, use any android device as a trackpad as well if it is connected to your uh, monitor over there so this is one thing that is amazing as well or maybe you can also use this trackpad as a touch interface to be able to draw and create uh, some of the designs on maybe adobe illustrator or maybe if you are uh, someone who is into UI designing and if you want to use Figma so yes I think so everything over here is possible and I'm just excited to see that what is the official Android take on the desktop kind of UI on the Android smartphones and again a very powerful tool that can just change the way that how the a cheap ecosystem in the terms of the windows platform might be replaced in the very near future and well these are just my thoughts and the windows desktops in the universities and the colleges might never be replaced and the business people might really just never want an android device uh, that might be paired with a tv in their restroom or in their not even restroom actually uh, in the hotels and something but again a very cool idea and the one that i'm really looking forward to that how google will implement this very thing in their future and quite update and well that was all that what i wanted to share about in this video my name is Angel. thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one peace